How's it going guys? Welcome to the modding tutorial. We are going to cover modding maps specifically in the CNCNet framework. This means that you just anything we can change it just in the map files and there are a lot of options. Uh, and inside the CNCNet framework we're going to try and cover as much as that as we possibly can. And this means that other players can just download your map to play your mod instead of having to download any other additional files. So the first thing we're going to need is a good tool, a good text editor tool. Uh, I personally like using Notepad++. You could use Notepad on the computer, you could use anything you want. For me, this is the most comfortable and this is what I'm going to be using. I definitely recommend it. So I just Google Notepad++, go to the latest release, and download the installer and install it. The next tool we're going to need is a tool called XCC Mixer. So I just Google that and I go download XCC Utilities for Command and Conquer, download this, and install it as well. Uh, the first tool we're going to open is XCC Mixer. So I'm going to go to the folder where it is saved. So that's on local disk C, program files 86, XCC, utilities, and the tool we're going to be using is this one, XCC Mixer. So I just double click on that. And here I'm going to navigate to my Red Alert 2 folder. So that's on, again, disk C, Westwood, and Red Alert 2. What I'm going to be looking for here is something called re2md.mix. So I'm just hitting the R key. There we go. re2.mix, that's for Red Alert 2. re2md.mix, that is for Yuri's Revenge. I double click on that. And here I'm going to look for something called local md.mix. So I go into that. And here what I want is something called rulesmd.ini. So I click the R key until I find rulesmd.ini right over here. I'm going to right click that and click extract. Choose the folder where I want to save it. So for me, it's already here on the Westwood uh, Westwood folder. As you can see, the file is already there. Hit save. So I'm not going to replace it because it already exists there. And that's basically all we're going to need in order to be able to start modding. If I go to the Westwood folder over here, rulesmd.ini, again, we are using Notepad++, so if I right click this and click edit with Notepad++, or do open with, right, you could decide to always open files of this type right, with Notepad++, and click OK, and here we go. This is rulesmd.ini. Anything inside this, more or less, you will be able to change on the map file. As you can see, it's a huge file. If I scroll down to the bottom here, you can see that there are 31,000 lines in this file. So we definitely have a lot of options we can change here. Um, anything in here, in theory, can be changed just on the map file. 